सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कवर्ड हाउ टू मेक द पॉलीगन एंड पॉलीगन एंड वी ऑल्सो एक्सट्रैक्टेड दिस बीम इमेज एंड कॉलम इमेज फ्रॉम दिस वुड टू डॉट पी एन जी दैट इज दिस इज द कॉलम इमेज एंड विल वी हैव दिस बीम इमेज दिस इज स्लिंग बेसिकली सो लेट मी शो यू वट वॉज द बीम इमेज सो दिस वॉज द बीम इमेज एंड दिस वॉज द कॉलम इमेज सो आफ्टर दैट वट वी गो डू इन दिस लेक्चर इज वी विल मूव वन स्टेप फॉरवर्ड इन ड्रॉइंग द पॉलीगन्स सो After this uh, to pi game function, what you're gonna do is draw the polygon. So let me define a function to do that. So let me say draw poly. That is a short form for polygon. And let me say self and elements and that will also pass the screen. Let's pass the screen. That is the display basically. And it will be called from this main and also we'll uh, create a uh, one more file. Uh, that will be for the labels and that will also use to create this polygon so now what we're going to do next is we'll just have this poly that is a self dot shape so we'll just define the shape what the shape should be so this shape will be stored now in this poly variable so after that what we're going to do next is just create a ps here that would be a variable that will just get a vertices now so let me say poly dot get me vertices vertices and after this vertices is taken so this get vertices is from the pi game so pi game module has this get vertices method so after that what are you going to do next so next will be just append now and append what you should append is you should get appended that is the first position of this vertices so after that we'll just make a map here map and you should just take a self dot to pi game and just create here ps just pass the ps so you would be wondering what we are doing here basically so we have called this pi game function that is to pi game function which is basically this function uh, on every element of this ps so this ps is basically the vertices of our polygon so this ps will contain a list or you can say a tuple that will contain the polygon vertices and this polygon vertices on every element of this polygon vertices we call this two pi game that means that vertices will be converted to the now vector basically in this basically coordinate form so if you get any confusion so let me just explain it further for you so for that let me just open this ideally and let me show you just uh, let me say that i'll create a new script here so let me just quickly give you example what this map function is really about for that purpose so let me just create a list that will contain a bunch of element like one two three five similarly and what we're gonna do next is we'll create a yum variable which will call this map and inside this we'll just pass now sqrt function let me just import first math module we'll need that math module in order to work with the sqrt so import math module first so let me say math dot sqrt to get this square root so in that square root let me just pass this list so what you're gonna do next is you'll just convert that to the list and you'll just print that em if you print that em now what it's gonna be is just save it now and run it then you can see something that is all of the square root here so what is happening here is basically so it will take the element that is one at a time so it will take one and it will just go to this function that is math.sqrt function and it, it will call this sqrt and give you the value that is one and it will take this two again and this it will just take two and go to this math.sqrt and it will just print you value similarly it will take three and it will take five so same is the working in this case of our pie charm that is take the position of the vertices that is basically the vertices and it will just convert it to the pi game coordinate one by one now the time is to create the list for this map so basically what you're going to do next is we'll just store as a list in this ps now from this list function and that will be this ps because we have just map here that this will just return us object so we'll just create that into the list and just we'll just have this now ps as in list 
so let me just define now color that will be red color so that is the color combination rgb and let's draw the line with this color so that would be like pygame dot uh, draw function and inside this draw you can call lines and it will take a surface now first will be the surface and surface will be obviously the screen and after that the color give the color that is a red color and give the false here false and after that just give this ps that is a list so this will create us a line so this line is basically for the beam so now what we'll do next is we'll check if the element that we passed in this case of draw poly that is this element so let's check this element is either a polygon uh, is either beam or basically it is column so basically this will be passed as an element from this main dot py when calling this polygon function or draw polygon function so either from the main or we will create the new now in the next lecture that will be the new python file and that will be the level python file that means that will contain all the level of our angry bird and from that also it will just call this draw poly because we need to draw this beam and column from that level dot py file so now let's create if the element list just check if the element is either a beam first so it would be beams if it is beams then what we're gonna do is now we'll write a bunch of a code that is for the bleeding these beams so what we're gonna do next is uh, basically we'll just have this poly and just give the position of this polygon so that is the body position and just get this position of this polygon and after that the next thing what we're going to do is we'll just convert it to the vector 2d that is self dot it should be inside this parameter so it is self and dot you have two pi game here and just pass this p to this basically we are converting to this vector 2d and after that we'll just create the angle and this angle degree is the angle in a degree which will basically rotate our beam according to our need basically so according to our need and uh, let me say angle degrees and that should be called from math module and there should be something that is degrees and just pass this poly dot degree that is poly dot body so we need to just rotate this body now so body dot angle here and after that just pass here 180 degree so for each rotation there should be shift by the 180 degree so just create this degree so as to rotate our beams now next thing what we're going to do is now we'll make another variable and that will be something that is rotate logo image let me say rotate logo image and this rotate logo image is basically rotation of our beams so as to give the basically the rotation for our beam so let us define the code here so that would be the transformation code from this pi game module so that will be from here that should be transform and in this transform we have rotate function or uh, rotate first will take the two parameter that is first will be surface and angle so surface is basically the self dot beam here that was the same image that we just extracted in this init function so we'll just say self dot uh, that is a beam image here so this should be rotated now this should be rotated with this angle degree that we created here so this should be rotated by angle degree now so we have now rotated image of the beam so what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna create first offset so this offset will be in this vector that is vector 2d this offset is basically a vector the containing other two point so firstly what we're gonna do is we'll just use this rotated this is the rotated logo image this is this image let me say rotated logo image rotated logo image and this rotated logo image uh, firstly what we're gonna give is just a get size from here so this is the get size function it should be get size and just get size first and just divide it by 2 
and what is this two basically this is important so two is for the rotate distance for the column or for the uh, beam also so we'll use the same code uh, in the case of this column two so in the case of the column two we'll also use this same offset and but the beams in the case of beam this is basically the rotation distance for the beam and this is to get the position to bleed the image that means to set the image to load that image basically we use this bleed function to load that image and you could have guessed how to bleed that image with that bleed function so firstly what we're going to get is the position that would be like p equal p minus that is an our position and it should be subtracted from this offset and the new position now after rotation the new position will be the p minus offset it should be not p minus offset it should be only the p now this p should be our new position and what we're going to do next is so firstly what we have here is np and let me say np is also the new position is also the p minus offset and now the new position will be p here so we have now this uh, basically a swap between this new position and position now we have new position in order to bleed this image so this p is the position for the polygon and we get the offset as a vector and n p is a new position so now we'll just bleed this in this screen that is from this bleed function and that will be bleed and just give this rotated image logo that is the image to bleed and where it should be bleed that should be in the new position dot x that is x coordinate just give the x coordinate and similarly new position dot y so if you use just a pi monk here pi monk doesn't allow us to have this basically coordinate so we have to use this pi game in order to get this position in the forms of coordinate so in that purpose we have just converted here that is pi monk to the pi game so we have now bleeding of these beams now the next thing what we're going to do is we'll just uh, check element if the element is column then we're going to write the code for the column so we'll say if it is columns that means if it is this basically if it is this then what you're going to do we'll write the code to run basically so what you're going to run so first will be p call poly and dot give this dot and body dot position that is the polygon body position and just similar that of beam we'll just have this vector 2d in order to convert this pi monk position of this polygon to the pi game that is in the form of vector and we'll just pass here p that is the position for our polygon and after that what we're going to do is we'll just have this angle degree and this angle degrees will be now the new for this column that will be self-defined is that of uh, similar that of we have in this case of beams so math dot degree and this math dot degree will also have this poly now poly dot body and poly dot body dot angle and after that we'll also add with this 180 for the displacement and after we have angle degree now what we're going to do is rotate our image that will be rotated image logo logo image and inside this we'll have pi game dot transform because this is to transform and transformation here is a only a rotation so this will be rotate so rotate who should be now it should take surface and angle so first will be self dot column image because we are now dealing with the column not the beam so beam has something that is in this case we have self dot beam image but in the case of a column we have self dot column image which was basically extracted from this wood too so after that what you can give is the angle to which the rotation should take place so that would be angle degree here and now we have a rotated logo image now we'll create the offset so offset would be the vector and that should be called from vector 2d and just pass this rotated logo image and get size of it first 
from this get size function and similarly you just divide with 2 so here instead of 2 you either if you divide basically with uh, let's me say if you 4 if you divide with 4 or if you divide it by 1 or if you divide it by 0 0.001 so that would cause the displacement of the beam and frame so what we're gonna have is this beam should be in the middle of these two column and exactly placed in the above of this column so if you just give uh, before uh, any value that is not equal to the 2 if you put any value that may say if it is 3 then it will be a uh, quite a displacement in this beam from the column so just make sure you put here only a 2 and in the case of here in the beams 2 you should only put a 2 here so after that what we're gonna do next is we'll just create a new position that will be P minus offset of set and after that we'll just create a new position in order to bleed that image so after this new position we'll just bleed now which it should bleed obviously in the screen so what should it bleed that should be rotated logo image with the angle and similarly where it should be bleed just give the position that is the np dot x because this is the vector np is the vector we have converted into the vector here in this vector 2d so it should have the x coordinate and it should have the y coordinate and now we have completed with the columns too so this is the wrap for this lecture and in the next lecture we will work with the base of the physics in the main class and we will also create the new class that is uh, basically our levels for our game and we'll eventually test our game so see you in the next <laughs>